to show you a quick tip on how to join two pieces of hot wire or high tensile wire, non-barbed wire. This won't work for barbed wire, so let's go. All right, so I've got two pieces of wire that I either need to join together, or maybe in some instances, I wanna continue a hot wire and I've come to the end of my roll or something like that, or I've ran out of wire and I need to connect them together. This is called the figure eight knot, and it's very good for connecting the, these types of wires, especially if you're going to put them under strain. So in this instance, I'm gonna take this wire, doesn't matter which way you start because you'll end up in the same place after a while, but I'm going to just put a bend in it, all right? And key on this is bending it and putting the wire under the running wire. So this is my running wire. I'm gonna bend it and put it under. I'm then going to take my other wire and thread it through. So I'm gonna go over and I wanna make sure that when I pull on this wire and get it kind of tied up on there, that it's going to push up on the knot, okay? Then we're going to take this and go over its other wire. So we've got that running through, we've gone over the other wire, and we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did on the other wire. And we're gonna pull that through. And this is what we call the figure eight. That's where it gets its name from, right there. This right here is what we call the figure eight. And we'll eventually cinch this down. So we've got that. Notice how the running wires are crossed up. So this is gonna put the weight on the knot and not on any kind of pinch point where it can break easily. So we'll take this and pull it tight. You do not need to do anything special. There it is a little bit tighter, and that's, again, where it gets its name for the figure eight. In order to, it, it, some people will clip these and leave it right like that. I like to tie it off, okay? So you'll take the existing one and follow right there, and then you'll finish it off with about three wraps. You can wrap it as many times as you want, but three tight wraps, all right? Same with over here. You'll go continue along that. A lot easier to wrap on strained wire, but we end up with a knot that is pressing on itself rather than on a specific spot. So there's the final right there. A beautiful figure eight knot, and that'll hold strain really well. I've tightened up many of these, and I don't think I've ever had one broke. You can cut and clean them up after you're done. Follow K County OSU Extension on social media to keep up to date on upcoming events, educational information, and research-based information. Thank you for watching.